Hello everyone, Lindsay McCowan here. So before we get started, I want to let you know that this practice is more advanced. Um, so when I say this is a more advanced yoga practice, I don't mean that it's going to be physically rigorous, although it might be physically challenging for some of you. But it, we're not going into crazy arm balances or crazy back bends or twists and all this stuff. What we're doing is we're advancing our yoga by advancing our breathing techniques and our uh, visualization techniques, uh, what sometimes we call it Kriya. So that is actually the advancement of yoga, but it does take preparation. You have to be pretty comfortable with your physical practice already. And it's super important that you're comfortable with breathing in and out a very steady rhythmic breath, a very steady Ujjayi breath. So if you're new to yoga, I have other videos you can delve into and uh, practice those before you do this practice. If you're pregnant or have high blood pressure, I suggest uh, finding another practice. Um, but if you've been practicing asana for a while, you're comfortable with your breath, but you want to learn how to go a little bit deeper, this is the practice for you. So welcome. Okay, so today's practice is very specific. Today is going to be a solar practice. And what I mean by solar is, yes, we will be building a little bit of heat, but what we want to actually build is not heat to where we're sweating profusely and we're exerting ourselves or even overexerting ourselves. What we want to do is start to build prana, which is that vital energy that sustains all life, that makes us really super healthy and strong in our bodies and clear in our minds and connected to our hearts. So that is what we're doing with the solar practice. So we'll, we'll wanna build a little bit of heat, a lot of energy, and then at the end, we're gonna let go of that excess heat and hold on to the energy, okay? So let's go ahead, sit up nice and tall, find a comfortable seat, okay, for you. Hands can be facing down or up. And let's just take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and exhale. And just feel yourself settle into your seat. Let's do that one more time. Make any sound that you need to, breathing in. And then come into an ujjayi breath. So breathing in and out through the nose. Just slightly contracting the back of the throat. So we begin to create a steady rhythm of breath that the inhale and the exhale are matched. Meaning the inhale is just as smooth and even as the exhale and they are equal in length. And we're gonna maintain a one-to-one -one ratio of breath throughout this practice for the most part. So keeping that steady, smooth rhythm, one-to-one -one ratio. And as we practice, we're also going to add this element of what's called Kriya, it's this internal action where we move awareness through the body in a very specific way that's in alignment with our purpose. Our purpose is to build that vital energy, to build the solar energy at the belly. So let's start to cultivate a little awareness at the belly. So when we breathe in, feel your awareness descend from the heart down to the navel. And when you breathe out, feel awareness rise from your pelvic floor to the navel. So I'll repeat that. We're gonna breathe in. Awareness descends from the heart to the navel. And when you breathe out, awareness rises from the pelvic floor to the navel. This is the technique we'll keep coming back to. So let's get comfortable with it now, continuing for several more breaths, breathing in, Guide awareness from the heart to the navel. Breathing out, allowing awareness to rise from the pelvic floor to the navel. And if you are familiar with Mula Bandha, that's the pelvic floor root lock, then you'll engage that with the exhale. So when you exhale, pelvic floor lifts, encouraging energy to rise from root to navel. 
And when you breathe in, awareness descends from heart to navel. And so the navel center is this power hub and the element is fire. And the yogi said that when our fire is super strong, we're able to digest not just the foods and extract the nutrients from our foods, but we're also able to digest emotions, past experiences, old belief systems. And that we can extract whatever lessons we need to from whatever has occurred in our life. But we don't hold on to the baggage. We burn that up and let that go. So we're going to use the breath, these particular asanas, and this kriya to help build fire. The ability to digest, to integrate, assimilate, and to move from the seat of our power. So let's go ahead and take the hands to the belly, place them on the seat of your power, your personal will. And then we're gonna chant Om three times to open our practice. So let's take the arms wide, breathing in. And then exhaling, bring the hands to the belly. Open your eyes, just let the belly soften into the hands, not trying to make it conform to a particular shape that you think it needs to be in order for you to feel worthy or beautiful, but just to let it soften for a moment and hold it in gratitude, understanding that this is the seat of your power, not to judge it or to criticize it and dampen its power, but to honor it. Bless it and be grateful. For that power that you hold within you is one that's going to help you transform and move beyond the past and finding a sense of freedom in the present and in your future. Okay, so let's open the eyes. Okay, move any props you have out of the way or have them nearby if you need them. Okay, so let's come up onto all fours. Tabletop position. So we're gonna breathe in here. You're gonna lift the chin, lift the tailbone. As you exhale, draw the chin and navel in and start to shift back into your child pose, just bowing it down. And then inhaling, coming up to all fours. Curl your toes under and we'll exhale into downward facing dog. Nice and slow, so not rushing. We'll continue to do this movement pattern. So inhaling, coming down to all fours, and then exhaling, shifting back into child. Inhaling fours, and then exhaling down dog. And I invite you to do this three more times, but adding that internal action so that when you breathe in, sense awareness descend from the, na uh, the heart to the navel. And when you exhale, feel it rise from the pelvic floor to the navel. So wherever we place our attention is very powerful. So we don't want to just come to our mat and just kind of move around and let our minds wander. That's just diffusing our energy. It's diffusing our power. So we really want to focus our awareness Inhaling, rise. Exhaling, curling the toes under. Now let's pause here. Hold down, we're facing dog. Don't worry if the heels are coming all the way to the mat or not. That's not what's really important. Think instead about it lengthening through your spine, lifting your sits bones. And feeling that presence, that power 
at the belly, breathing in, awareness from heart to belly, breathing out, awareness rises from the pelvic floor to the belly. And then adding that root lock, Mula Bandha is where you draw the muscles of the pelvic floor to in and up. Just encouraging any stagnant energy to rise into the navel, to that powerful, fiery place that can subsume all that stuff we've been carrying for a very long time that keeps us stuck or repeating the same old boring patterns. Okay, let's walk the feet to the top of the mat. Okay. You can sway a couple times if you like, side to side, just feel where you are in your body in this pose or this movement. Okay. And then go ahead and bend the knees slowly coming up, one vertebra at a time. When you arrive, you can roll the shoulders simply because it feels good. Okay. And then inhaling, rising, pulling the belly in, chin stays in. Okay, let's do two more. Exhaling, sitting back, chair pose. Keeping the breath rhythmic and smooth. Inhale, leaning back, chair, pressing to rise. Exhaling, soft bend in the knees. Or if you need a little bit more bend, go ahead and take it. Inhale, reversing it and rising back up. Okay, last one, bending the knees. Belly to thigh, sweep the fingertips to the floor, and relax the neck as we look towards the sits bones. And then inhale, lean back, feel the shoulder blades hug into the back of the heart to rise. And then exhale, extend long. Pull from the belly, lift from the heart, not the head as you rise. And then exhale, let the arms float down by your side. And just take a pause. Just really not feel, a solar practice isn't about rushing and forcing and building heat and doing extreme things. It's about building that energy, building the awareness, collecting, cultivating it, but understanding how it moves through you and how you can direct it for your own health and vitality, okay? So let's step back with the left foot, come into warrior one, take the arms up by the ears. Okay, from here, we're gonna exhale, take the arms wide, and then the hands are gonna come to the heart space, and the back of the neck will stay long, okay? Then we're gonna inhale, straighten the legs, take the arms up overhead. Now keep the front ribs in and extend out over the leg, bowing it down. The so same long spine that we did in that forward bend. Now inhale, knee stacks over the heel, rise up, warrior one, so you're not rounding the back. And then exhale, hands come to the heart space. Okay, let's add that Kriya, so breathing in, awareness descends from heart to navel. Exhale, pelvic floor to navel as you fold. If that feels like too much to think about, then don't worry about it. Stay with the rhythmic, smooth breath, warrior one. Exhale, arms wide, palms press. And then inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, fold. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, feel the shoulder blades work to the back of the heart, so the chest broadens. Keep that broad knee to the chest as the hands press at the heart. And then breathe in. And then exhale and fold. This is the last one. Inhaling, coming back up to warrior one. And then exhale, hands come to the heart space. And then pause here. Front ribs are in, looking out over the horizon, back of the neck long. And then work that internal action. Inhaling, heart to navel. Exhaling, feel the pelvic floor lift slightly, encouraging any stagnancy, any old stuff to rise. In the yoga tradition, it's really from the navel to the pelvic floor, those lower three chakras areas that hold pretty much just our, our baggage. I've talked about this before, about how 
That's like our junk drawer where we store all of our stuff that we don't know what to do with. But we know as yogis that we need to get rid of it. We need to process it. Extract the, the beauty and the gems from it. Inhale, straighten the leg. And then just get arms wide. Exhale and take a big step to the top of the mat. Pause. <laughs> breathe in. And breathe out. We want all of our old stuff to dampen our light, dampen our power. Okay, step back with the right foot. Warrior one, arm sweep up by the ears. And then exhale, take the arms wide. Palms press at the heart. Okay, inhale, straighten the leg. Long spine, remember don't lift the chin, exhale and fold. Bend the knee so it stacks right over the heel and extend forward. Try not to round the back, about halfway is where we round the back, but keep extending the sternum forward and then rise up, keeping the elongation through the vertebra. And exhale, hands come to the heart. Okay, let's do three more, inhale. And then exhale and fold. You bend the knee as much as you need to to maintain that long spine. Inhale, rise. Exhale. We get really caught up on the external the physicality of the postures and the, of yoga. Inhale, straighten the leg. But it's really an inward journey. We're using that physical body as access to these deeper realms. And it's in those deeper realms that we store a lot of unprocessed stuff. And when we process it, we extract the lessons. We build our own inner power, our own inner light. Straighten the leg. Inhale. Then we can really step forward with confidence in our life. That's really what this power, the solar practice is about. Inhale, warrior one. And then exhale, hands come to the heart. Pausing here. Gaze on the horizon. Don't let the gaze wander. We really keep our focus. And so even though we're gazing on a particular point on the horizon, our awareness is inside. Inhaling, awareness descends from heart to navel, exhaling, there's a slight lift of the pelvic floor, encouraging all of our old stuff to come into the fire of the belly. So think of it this way, when we're breathing in, we're taking the prana that we're building at the heart and we're encouraging it to go down and lighting the fire of the belly. And when we breathe out, we're drawing awareness up from the pelvic floor to the navel, think of it as the wood, as the fuel that's going to burn, like keep the fire stoked. And the prana that's coming from the heart is like the wind. The element of the heart is the wind, the breath. So we're stoking the fire in two different ways. Inhale, straighten the leg, arms sweep up. Exhale, big step to the top of the mat, let the arms float down and then pause and breathe in and breathe out. Okay, just a few lunge salutes. So we're gonna take the arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, arms go wide, chin stays in as you fold forward. Come up halfway, inhale. And then exhaling, plant the hands, step back with your left foot, knee comes to the mat, inhale, arms sweep up by the ears. And then exhale, goalie arms, peel the chest open. And then inhale, arms sweep up by the ears. And then exhale, step to the top of the mat, forward bend. Press to the feet, inhale, rise, but don't lift the chin until the last minute, last little bit of breath, and then exhale, center it into the heart. Okay, inhale, arms sweep up. You can lift the chin here, but then let the chin come back in as you fold. As we build prana, we don't want it to go into the head, we want it to stay in the body. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step back with the right foot, knee to mat. Inhale, arms sweep up. And then exhale, goalie arms. Keep the belly engaged as you come into this back bend. Inhale, arms sweep up. And then exhale, step to the top of the mat. All the way up, inhaling. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, let's just do one more on each side. Inhale. And then exhale and fold. And halfway lift, inhale. Exhaling, stepping back with the left foot, knee to the mat. Inhale, arms sweep up. And then exhale, goalie arms. 
Feel the heart lift. And then inhale, arms sweep up by the ears. Exhaling, stepping to the top of the mat. Complete the exhale so that when you breathe in, you can fill all the way back up. If you haven't completed your exhale, you can't take as deep of an inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart of space. And then breathe in, arms sweep up. And then exhale and fold. Come up halfway, breathe in. And then exhaling, stepping back. Right leg, arms sweep up, inhale. And then exhale, goalie arms. Inhale, arms sweep up. And then we're gonna exhale, step to the top of the mat. Forward bend. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, arms come down, palms press. Take a pause here, breathe in and breathe out. So as you start to build heat, don't let the breath get out of control. The breath is controlling the prana as it moves, okay? We don't want it to get dispersed, wasted effort here. Think about the Kriya, inhaling heart to navel, exhaling pelvic floor to navel. Okay, so we're gonna step back with the left foot, come back into this warrior stance. But you might wanna shorten it just a little bit, doesn't because we're, we're gonna do a little bit of work here that's gonna build some heat in the back. So take the arms, actually let's just go ahead and do this, let's straighten the leg. We'll make it a little bit less complicated. Right leg stays straight. Take your left hand to your low back, right arm up by the ear. Pull the front ribs in, breathe in. And then you're gonna exhale and you're gonna fold down over the leg. Slight bend in that front knee to protect the knee. Now inhale, come up halfway. Extend the sternum forward, pull that right hip back, but your front ribs are pulling in, so there's no tugging on your hamstring or low back. And then you're gonna exhale and fold. Now, if you need to, bend the front knee. Otherwise, keep the leg straight. Inhale, come up. So it's a little bit of a variation from what we just did, but we're trying to keep the leg straight now. Exhaling and fold. So if you need to come back to the first variation, you can do that. Inhale, come up halfway. Now pause the breath here. Hold the inhale, but bring your awareness to the belly. And then exhale and fold. Press to the front foot, inhale, rise, all the way back up. Now we're doing these breath retentions, so if at any point in time it's too much, don't do it. Exhale and fold. Inhale, come up halfway, pause the breath, but bring awareness to the belly. So we're pausing the breath, building prana, but we're directing that prana into the navel center, and then exhale and fold. Inhale, rise. Okay, we have two more. Again, bend the knee if it's becoming too much on the hamstring or low back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Smooth, controlled inhale. Pause the breath. Deposit your awareness, your prana into the belly. And then exhale and fold. Inhale, rise. If you need to take an extra breath, you can do that as well. Otherwise, let's go right back in. Exhale and fold. Inhale, come all the way back up, halfway, <laughs> and exhale. Got that a little bit mixed up, but that's okay. Inhale, now rise all the way back up. Okay, and then just parallel the feet for a moment, and then just notice. Whatever there is, and breath retentions are very powerful, so we need to make sure the body is stable. We can maintain that one-to-one -one ratio of breath before we start to advance and start to do breath retentions. Okay, let's simply just turn your toes the other way. Okay, heel to heel alignment, if that's possible for you. If you need a little bit of wider stance for stability, you can do that. Left hand to your low back or sacrum, inhale, right arm sweeps up. Pull the front ribs in, chin stays in. Exhale, fold out over the leg. So let's just go right into it. We're gonna inhale, come up halfway, pause the breath, awareness at the navel. And then exhale and fold. Inhale, extend the spine as you rise. And then exhale and fold. 
So we, it's a very convenient misunderstanding that, uh, that yoga is all about the physical postures. Halfway lift, inhale, pause the breath, awareness stays at the belly. And exhale, fold. Let's keep going, rising all the way up. And we'll do two more. Exhale and fold. The body is just leveraged, but it's not the end game. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale and rise. And this last one, exhale. Feel that left hip cinch back so you can find more extension of the spine. And then you're gonna come up halfway, pause the breath, feel prana building, the heat building in the belly. And then exhale and fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Whew, and then parallel the feet, take a pause here. Again, the body is just leverage. Get the body steady and stable so that we can start to dig deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper in. Dissolving our limitations, our past beliefs, all this heaviness we've carried through our lives and starting to fuel our power and our presence and our purpose for this life. Okay, so from here, let's just turn the toes to face the front of the mat again. Okay, right hand comes to your low back, left arm up by the ear, breathe in here. And we're gonna exhale, we're gonna extend out over the leg. Now we're gonna come into a revolved triangle. Now, I like to take my hand to the outside of the foot, but I also like to use a block. So I invite you to do that as well if you like. What's more important is that you really extend the spine. Wherever you are, you can feel the extension of the spine. And then we exhale, we twist. We twist from the navel center. It's not the pulling or the tugging of the arm that gets there. It's from our power hub. And then we can start to float the right arm up. You can look down or at the wall or up at your thumb. And then stay here, maintaining ujjayi, but also working with that internal movement, awareness from heart to navel, from pelvic floor to navel. Inhale, exhale. And we stay as still and steady as we possibly can. When the body, when we learn to train ourselves, when we train the body to be stable and still, then we can start to deal or work with these more subtle aspects of the practice. And it's those subtle aspects where your real power resides. Okay, now bring the right hand down, set your block aside. Now I'm gonna end up turning away from you for a moment, but watch my feet. I'm gonna lift my heels and I'm gonna spin to the right. So my right hip comes down and then I wanna slowly come down to the mat. So I'm gonna come into Gomukhasana. So I won't have to turn around and face you. So you're not too confused. <laughs> We're gonna stack the knees one on top of the other. Okay, so bring your hands to the bottoms of your feet so you can feel the warmth of the center of the palm pressing into the warmth of the arch of the feet. Breathe in and out. Okay, we're gonna do couple of bhati, okay? Some call it breath of fire or it's skull shining breath in some traditions. So we're gonna breathe in, out the mouth, and we'll do 20 rounds inhaling. And this is the forceful exhale through the nose. It's a passive rebounding breath. Again, you're not doing this practice if you're pregnant, pregnant or have high blood pressure. You're familiar with ujjayi and some basic breathing techniques. And then exhale out all of the breath. Now inhale. Now hold your inhale and just fold forward. Okay, now you're not gonna do a marathon hold here, but just holding the inhale gently, like you're cupping something very precious and bring your awareness down to your navel. And when you feel like you cannot hold the breath any longer, again, we're not, you're not gonna get a medal for this, so when your body is telling you to breathe, you lean back, exhale, and take a pause here. And then ujjayi breath so you can stabilize again. It builds a lot of pressure in the system. 
Okay, let's come into Navasana boat. So for this variation, we're gonna keep the knees together, ankles together, okay? Keep squeeze, 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 squeeze them. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna rock over to your right hip and take your arms to the left. I'm not mirroring you, so I apologize if that's confusing. But extend the hands out over the left thigh and keep the knees squeezing in and come back to center. Okay, knees are still squeezing. Rock over your left hip. A little twisting boat. You're rocking the boat. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, other side. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale and exhale. Come back to center. My knees are starting to go wide because my legs are getting tired. So keep squeezing, squeezing, squeezing them. Come back, back over to the right and back to center. Good. Now cross up the ankles, pull the heels in and just Take your hands off to the front of the mat again and just unwind and step back. Down dog, take a deep breath in and out. We haven't spent a lot of time in downward facing dog. You notice we haven't done any sun salutations. Sun salutations build a lot of heat, but they don't really build a lot of prana. We really want to build prana. That's what we want to sustain us, to revitalize us, to heal us to give us the power and the will to step into our dharma with courage. Okay, let's step the left foot between the hands and let's rise up, inhaling. Okay. Ooh, okay, so let's take the left hand behind you, to your sacrum. Right arm up by the ear, breathe in. Now we're gonna come into that revolved triangle. Hand can be on the inside of the foot or the outside. Again, I like to use a block. Now find that extension of the spine, breathe in. Cinch the left hip back, sternum forward. And I rotate from my navel, I rotate from my power center, my seat of my knowing, not from my head or my arms. And then we're gonna head, extend the arm up overhead when you feel the shoulders stack. Find your focal point for your gaze and try not to let it waver. When we let the eyes dance all over the place, it's a waste of energy, it's a waste of our prana. And we don't wanna waste that. We want to develop that one pointed focus. And for this practice, it's on building our personal power. Two more breaths. I breathe a little bit longer, so <laughs> maybe my breaths are a little bit longer than yours. Okay, take the hand down to the mat. Okay, so from here, this is where we're gonna spin, lift the heels and start to spin to your front leg and then coming down into Gomukhasana. So the knees are stacking the best that they can. Okay, trying to get both sit spuns on the floor if possible. Take the hands, the bottoms of the feet, take a breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna do 20 rounds, a couple of bhati, but when we do it, do it at a cadence that's right for you. You count for yourself and then begin when you're ready. And then exhale out all the breath. Take a deep breath in. Lift the collarbones, but the chin stays in. Hold the inhale and fold forward. As you fold forward, you're gonna feel when you hold the inhale, this development, this energy at the chest, but direct that down into the belly. And when you need to exhale, you exhale, you lean back. Releasing the breath nice and slow. Take a pause, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, open the eyes, Navasana. Okay, Ooh, I'm falling off my mat here. So, <laughs> knees in, squeeze them in, rock over to your left hip, like you're passing a ball to someone off to your right, twist the hips, then come back, breathe in and then shift over to your right hip. And we're just gonna go back and forth two more times on each side, keep squeezing the knees, but still feel the lift of the chest. We don't wanna round the upper back too much, even though it's gonna round, but don't collapse. And then <laughs> shift. One more on the left. Come back to center, pull the heels in, and just roll over, nothing fancy. Might not even feel graceful, but that's okay. <laughs> Breathe in and out with down dog. Two more breaths here. 
Come back to that internal action, heart to navel, pelvic floor to navel with each breath in and out. Okay, let's shift forward in a plank pose and then lower all the way down into your belly. Okay. <sighs> so don't get too excited. We're not quite over yet. Okay, <laughs> so from here, we're gonna come into Dhanurasana. So bow, you're gonna bend the knees, grab for your ankles. Try not to let the knees go super wide, but feel the, the crease of the hips lengthening here. So we're not hitching the hips up. Press the hips forward and down. And gonna breathe in here with the exhale as when we come up, exhale and press. Now we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna to inhale, lower the thighs down about halfway and then exhaling and pressing back up. Push the shins away, balls the feet to the sky. Okay, let's add some sound to this. Inhale, lower down part way. And then we're gonna exhale the sound of om. Om. Inhale, lower. Two more. Just notice how the sound helps us extend our exhale and rise deeper into the back bend. Last one. Okay, and then release. Oh, you can bring your hands to your side or forward. Just rock the hips side to side. Take a pause here just to let the breath come back to an even rhythm of ujjayi, okay? And then take your hands to your side, press up. And then just gently come back to a wide kneed child pose. Okay, then inhale, come all the way back up. Let me turn to face you here. Now I will mirror you for this one. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take my hips to the left, you take your hips to the right, okay? And from here, you're gonna flex your bottom foot and then let the, the shin bone of your top foot rest in the arch. Take your right hand, reach behind you. Left hand can come to your knee or you can tuck the fingertips underneath the thigh and pressing the heel of the hand down towards the mat. Breathe in, lift the heart. And they're gonna exhale, twist, okay? So same thing with any twist, the navel hugs into the spine and the shoulders wrap it to the back of the heart and the collarbones broaden. Now with this variation, what we're gonna do is once you feel the body in position, you're gonna turn the head to the front of the mat. Now watch my front shoulder. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop my shoulder down and my chest will broaden and the heart will lift towards the sky. And then I wanna tilt my head. I'm turning my chin towards the front shoulder, but I'm tilting my head like my ear is draping down. And I invite you just to close your eyes. And you might feel a lot of energy building at the chest. And if you do, see if you can just bring that down into the belly. You can take prana anywhere you want it. So we've just been building a little bit at the heart so that we can guide it down to the belly to ignite that fire. Now the fire is already within us. We just want to keep it bright, vibrant, powerful. It can help us digest our limitations. Two more breaths. And then we're just gonna unwind, come back to center. Sit on your heels if it's okay, or you can sit cross-legged. We'll just take a pause here, breathe in and breathe out. And then bring your awareness to the belly and briefly just feeling that light and that fire fire of your own transformation, the seed of your power. And we're just gonna bring in, you can call it a mantra if you like, or an affirmation or an incantation, but just 
bringing this in, I can step into my full power. I will step into my full power and I must step into my full power. I can step into my full power. I will step into my full power and I must step into my full power. I take a breath in and out the mouth. And then open the eyes and shift the hips to the other side. Okay. So left hand comes behind you. Okay, right hand to your knee or tuck it underneath the thigh. Breathe in, lift the heart. And then we're going to exhale, come into a twist. Okay, you can start with looking out over your back shoulder if you like. But when you feel really established in your seat, your asana, you turn your head to the front. And this is when you lift the chest, spread the collarbones, drop the front shoulder down, and then tilt your head. And pause here and breathe. And you can come back to that step into my full power. I will step into my full power. And I must step into my full power. And our power does not, is not one of force or violence. It's not power that's fueled by anger or rage. It is fueled by the light of awareness, the light of our soul. And then we unwind and come back to center. Pause in here, just breathe in and breathe out. Okay, then we're going to come on to our backs. Okay, so from here, just go ahead and roll down one vertebra at a time. Bending the knees, heels are going to be in line with your sits bones. Okay, we're going to do some dynamic bridge pose here. So when you breathe in, let me scoot down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to breathe in. You're going to lift the hips, arms sweep up by your ears. Gaze is steady. And you're going to exhale, hips come down, arms come down. Okay, a couple more like that. Breathing in. And out. Actually, let's add the sound of OM. That feels really good to do it from this posture. So we're going to breathe in, lift the hips, and we'll chant OM on the way down. OM. Let's do two more. You can even close the eyes if you like. OM. You can even chant silently if you like. Now leave the hands on the floor, lift the hips, and then slide your arms underneath you. If you can, interlace the hands, draw the shoulder blades into the back of the heart. Relax the jaw. Go ahead and close the eyes. And then breathing in here. Feel the chest broaden, this energy build at the chest. And then when you exhale, feel the pelvic floor gently pull in and up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in. Just hold the inhale, just a couple of counts, and feel that energy at the heart build, but then direct it down to the belly. Just encourage that light at the heart to ignite our personal power, our will, our courage, our motivation. And we'll do that two more times, just gently exhaling. Smooth breath in. You retain the breath and your awareness and you guide those pranic forces down into the belly. Last one. And then lower the hips down. Just take a pause here. You can even take your hands to your belly if you like. To help us keep the awareness there and come back, I can step into my power. I will step into my power and I must step into my power. As spiritual practitioners, yogis are spiritual practitioners. It's not about exercise. If you're truly practicing yoga, it's a spiritual practice. 
And as spiritual warriors, we step into our power courageously. And sometimes our power is through our words or perhaps it's through our silence or our listening, peaceful action. Sometimes we have to take actions that are uncomfortable for us. As long as it's in line with our soul's purpose, our dharma, we're moving from the seat of our personal power. Okay, take the arms wide and then draw the knees into your chest and then take the knees over to the left. You just bring them down towards your armpit and you can look over. And just squeeze the knees in together. Kind of like we did in that Navasana, but kind of Navasana twist. The knees stay glued together if possible, and if they're not quite there, you can put a block in between them or underneath them. Awareness at the navel. I can, I will, I must step into my power. I cannot hide from my purpose, nor do I want to. Inhale, come back to center. Take a pause here, breathe in and out. And then draw the knees in and drape them over to the right, drawing the knees towards the armpit, gaze left. Awareness still at the belly, just gently, you know, softly repeating your mantra. We don't have to yell and scream, I have to step into my power. You know, that's not what, that's not the power that we're cultivating. It's not aggression. Again, it's not force. When you really know who you are and you know your own power, you can stand in it with confidence and with ease and gentleness and compassion. And then come back to center. Okay, let's hug the knees into the chest. And just do a little bit of movement here in these little circles, just massaging the sacrum. And then taking any additional movements you need to that's going to enable you to come into Shavasana, a really comfortable position here, legs wide. Arms can be wide or you can even, you know, for today, take your blanket or sandbag and put it over your belly. Just making your feel you making sure you feel comfortable with where you are. You can close the eyes or leave them half open. But take a deep breath in. And then out to the mouth. Let's do it again and make any sound you need to. Breathing in. And pause. And just feel your body relax deeply. And then come back to just a soft breath, lengthening the inhale and the exhale. It's not a strong contraction of the throat. And the breath is almost silent. Coming back to that Kriya where you breathe in. Awareness ascends from heart to belly. And when you breathe out, it rises from the pelvic floor to the belly. No mulabandha. It's just breath and awareness. And the more deeply the body can relax, the more effortless this becomes, the more effortless the breath feels, the more effortless it is to move awareness through the body. And then relax the breath and let it come into a natural rhythm but maintain 
the inner awareness. Heart to navel, pelvic floor to navel. And sensing that fire within you, right there, in the solar plexus navel area, becoming bright. As bright as a thousand suns within you. as powerful and certain as a thousand suns. And then let go of the Kriya and just hold on to this sensation or visualization of this bright blaze at the belly, full sun within you. And just staying here, and I'll let you know when it's time to come up. But just know, don't feel rushed. That when we do these deeper practices, the rest is essential. It's always essential, but even more so when we do this style of practice. Stepping into your personal power is also stepping into nourishing yourself. And then staying here as long as you need. Again, there is no rush. If you know you need more rest, you step into that knowing and you honor it. But if you're ready, begin to deepen the breath. And just slowly starting to move the body. And we're going to roll to the right side. Come into a fetal position for just a moment or as long as you need. And then you're going to press up to your seat. And I encourage you to find a comfortable seat. And we're going to end with just a little pranayam. And this pranayam is also available to you on a separate video so you can come to it any time you need it okay so making sure your hips are lifted either on blankets a bolster or a block okay okay and so as you find your comfortable seat the spine is tall and the head is lightly floating over the pelvis and just finding that that steadiness in the body. When we find our seat, our, we're finding our ability to be stable and steady and strong. And then come back into just a soft ujjayi breath. Feeling the breath as our link to our personal power. 
It calms our nervous system. It gives us clear perspective. And it nourishes us. So we just did a practice that we built some heat around and some prana, some energy around. So we, now we want to let go of the heat and hold on to the energy. So we're going to move into a technique called satali. Some say it's uh, shatali. I can't say satali, so it depends on who you've been taught by. But it's a cooling breath. Okay, so what's going to happen is with your inhale, you're going to roll your tongue. I cannot roll my tongue like a tube, but most people can. If you're like me and you can't, you'll have to roll your tongue uh, w wide so it comes to curl at the back of your teeth. I don't know if you can even see that. But otherwise, you'll do that nice long tube out of the mouth. And we'll breathe in through the tube of the tongue, either through vertically or horizontally. And then what will happen is with the exhale, you'll draw the tongue back into the mouth, relax the jaw, and you'll exhale through the nose. Okay, but we're going to add a little bit of a movement with the head. So when we inhale, we'll lift the chin. And as you exhale, you draw the tongue back in. Chin comes parallel. Back of the neck lengthens and the gaze is inward. Okay, so let's do it together. Take a breath in through the nose. Just exhale through the mouth. Curl your tongue and slowly lift the head as you breathe in. Relax the mouth, draw the tongue back in, exhaling slow, and the chin comes parallel, maybe a slight bowing down. Feel the spine lengthen. Continuing. Exhale. Let's do about another five rounds. And then as you continue on your own, just know this is the cooling breath. It lets go of that excess heat. So if you're feeling angry or agitated, you can use this breath. If it's summer and it's blazing hot, you can use it to cool the body. If you're going through perimenopause or menopause, you can use it when you're having a hot flash or your emotions feel heated or unstable. Let's do one more. And then exhale. And of course we use it when we do a solar practice. So we don't let the heat agitate us. And we hold on to our personal power and our prana. So here with the eyes closed, just bring your hands back to the belly. And feel the belly soften into the palms. And this extension of love and gratitude from the heart, through the arms, through the palms, and to the belly. Love and gratitude, not expectation or demand of our bodies to look away a particular way. But this clear understanding that this is the seat of my power. I honor it. I stoke it through my practice. And I continually remind myself who I am and that I can step into my power and that I will step into my power and I must step into my power. You can stay here as long as you like and move into your meditation. Or if you're ready, you can bring the hands together, briskly rub them. Feel the warmth between the palms and let that warmth be cupped over the eyes. 
And you feel that prana being absorbed into the brain and feel it flow down through the nervous system, through all the nerves of the body. And let's bring the hands together. Thumbs pressed to the forehead. May we have right thoughts. To the lips, may we have right speech. To the heart, may we have right intentions. And to the belly, may we have right actions. Blessings, blessings, blessings abound. And have a lovely day or evening. If you have any questions about this practice or requests for future practices, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And also check out the separate video that has just the Satali breath practice all by itself if you want to come back to that at any point. Take care.